I am Mr. Mania here as a special guest host for the Rhyme Impersonated Show. I am going to be interviewing the executive producer Richard Oliver Jr. and a cast member Von Franklin. Later on, I will also be talking to another cast member, Say Diggs. So tell me a little bit about the show, guys. Well, it's uh, actually a great show. It's a half hour comedy series set here in New York City featuring original characters and celebrity impersonations. And it, it's great. I'm proud to just have such great talent working on it, you know. Um, it's been an amazing journey. We raised 5K for the project on Kickstarter. Three skits completed, one more left to complete the pilot. And I get to work with amazing actors like this, Von Franklin, and uh, amazing cast, you know, uh, and bring this show, as we try to bring this show to New York City. So it's very exciting. Great, so uh, tell me a little bit, what was the idea behind the proof? The spoof, the comedy spoof uh, was um, Ain't No Stopping Us Now. It was a big throwback from McFadden and Whitehead. Um, great duo who came up with the hottest hit, Ain't No Stopping Us Now. So we decided, let's do a spoof. Um, you know, kind of like pay tribute to them, but make it kind of comical too. And we didn't realize how hard it would actually be. <laughs> yeah, I could definitely um, tell. It was a lot of work uh, just dancing alone. I didn't realize how much the old folks really threw down back then. They how were, much did you dance? Just tell us a little oh bit. Oh God, just the rehearsals. We were rehearsing in one studio here, um, uh, at the studio here. We were rehearsing like every day, like, you know, trying to get the steps right. And that was tiring. Yvonne could tell you that, about that. So, and you know, it's been amazing. You know, uh, two two days, 9,000 views. It's been, we, we just really appreciate the love. We want to say thank you to everybody out there who's been watching. You know, it's climbing. We're very excited. And I don't know what to say, Yvonne? Hey, hey, I'm just grateful for all y'all out there. I'm, I'm so grateful. I'm, I'm proud to be a part of this project. So tell me a little bit how uh, how great it was to do the spoof. It, it was it was a great experience. Uh, this this is like something that I never expected. I mean, I'm, I'm from the singing industry. I'm from the entertainment industry. But this was something that was totally out of the box. Uh, I was I am very privileged and honored to be a part of this program and a part of this opportunity right now. The Rhyme Impersonator Show. <laughs> um, yo, show y'all love, man. I want to give a few shout outs, man, especially to my peoples right now. Martika McLeod, Joy Taylor. Yo, Joy. You already know. Yeah, yeah. Karen, Karen yeah. Bishard. A lot of love, a lot yes, of love. Yes, love Vera you, Banks, so. Vera Banks, I love you so much. I love you. That's my second mother right there. Yeah. Uh, but I'm just so grateful for this, man. Like, yo, we put a lot of sweat. Uh, let's yeah, let, let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about the okay. sweat. Now we're going to talk about sweat. The sweat? I could just say the sweat was immense. It was insane. It was First real. of all, we walked on the set. There was no AC. We realized there was just one little tiny fan that we had to work with. Mm. And we have to now dance like the 1979 brothers. And also sing. In suits. And sing. Sing. Yeah. Sing. Tell me a little bit about the singing. I, I I heard that this was you guys actually singing. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> yes, it was. That was that was like part two to the after the, all the sweat and the dancing and the steps. Then it was like we had to record. We had to go in the studio and record the vocals. Record you know, a vocal. three part harmony. And we literally came in and we knocked it out in one take. And we did all the vocals for all the sections of the song, even the high ones, which he forced me to do. I was like, we can't hit those high four set of notes. That was all that for you. We didn't have the ladies um, to do the background. Low budget had production. To, had to pull a Ray Charles, man. Had to pull so a Ray Charles. he was like, you can hit those notes. And I was like, I don't think I can hit those notes. Well, they came out great at the end of the day. And you know it. And then we did a few takes. And then it was like mid. And we were like a perfect harmony. It was all right. When I, right here, people. The mad genius right I'm here, listening people. in the studio and I'm just like, is that us? And we're like, it really sounds like women doing background. It was hilarious. But we, yes, we did do it live. How was that experience? Uh, but, uh, but I mean, just like he said, it, like, uh, oh, I don't think we can do that. Like, dude, no, we have to do that. We, ha we have oh. to do that, dude. If we don't, that's going to look really awkward. Mm. And it really still does, even though we're singing over like somebody that's not singing. So, I mean, like, this opportunity is so crazy. People, please, view the video. Yeah, Ain't the video. no stopping us now, dash 5K. If you cannot get through it on a link, Ain't no stopping us now, dash 5K at YouTube. YouTube. You can do it, guys. We can do it. We can, we can make this go viral. Come on. Wow. Come on, guys. 
It's been crazy, man. I mean, um, that, that I can definitely say um, that, that was very one of the most difficult parts, you know, to record to after all that dancing, then go in a studio and record vocals with no background singers. It was very challenging. I can tell only genius would come up with that. I'm not the genius. No, no, I couldn't have. I, I can't take credit for this oh, video. Gotta, I have to definitely too. mention my team, which yeah. without them wouldn't have been done. Production manager Vina K. Yes. Um, Alex Cor Corvin. Oh yeah. Um, Tanji Maximo, Tanji. who was doing the grip, the lighting, the gaffing. Um, you know, Alpha, who picked us up, a, a, a driver that took us there. You know, last minute, and you know, I got to give the credit to them because without them, we wouldn't have had that beautiful backdrop to make those characters come alive, you know? So um, I think I definitely can't take the credit. Alex, you are definitely a genius when it comes to filming. Alex, Alex you are a genius, you're a genius, man. genius. You're a genius. I thank you for your prissy. Amazing. I thank you for pushing hard. I thank you for not giving up, for wanting what you want. Alex, you are the man, bro. Yeah, yeah. So tell me a little bit about what was the whole point of the spoof. I know you guys had, um, you guys had a goal behind that. Yes, and we the goal was $8,500 goal. Um, People, yes. start chipping in. We all know we can do this. Yeah. We can do this. Which is the launch date, um, Saturday, um, July 27th is the official launch date for the Kickstarter. Are campaign. you are you paying attention? Mm -hmm. I hope so. And that's when people can actually go online and make a pledge of their choice, get rewarded in the process. 8,500 is the goal. It's not a lot, and I think we I know we can do it. So we said we wanted to do a spoof that was kind of like yeah. musical because yeah. people relate to music. Yes. And if you can capture people by laughter, music, that's the best brand of advertisement. So it was a challenge to like put it together. We're thinking, how can we do this? It's like, so when it kind of evolved, then we kind of like, this can happen. We can actually do this. But then it was a situation of location, timing. To assemble a crew takes so much work. It takes so much time to put it together. And um, it, it, and a lot of money too. Of course, of course. That's why we have you guys. Yeah, so um, so that was the most challenging thing within the time frame to assemble the whole team to really go in an apartment and really knock it out. I mean, I had to do wardrobe on this set. For those that know, I did wardrobe. I had to like go shopping, get his size. I'm on the phone. What's your size, man? What's your size? You wear double large? He's like, no, I wear 30, 38, 38, man, 38 pants. And I'm, picking, I'm in, yeah, I'm in, bar, I'm in, uh, you know, Burlington Co Factory picking outfits. Shirts. I got his crazy pink shirt because we wanted to be as close to the characters as possible, and that was a uh, part of the process was the, the studying of the character. I think Vaughn could talk more about that. The process of watching those geniuses do their thing and trying to really do them justice. Yeah, the tell me a little bit about it because I know you guys did the steps also, and that took a lot of study. But you have a little bit more background on it. I mean, like these guys are legendary uh, entertainers. But not only entertainers, they're writers. You know, these guys are understanders of how music works. Um, they, they, they don't get the credit that they deserve, McFadden mm -hmm. and Whitehead. And, and most people know this song mm -hmm. because this was a breakout hit. But Jeez. what they were really trying to tell people is, like, you know, we've up. been in this game for a long time. We've been doing this for a long time, McFadden and Whitehead, that is, guys. And now we're finally getting our recognition. Mm -hmm. They wrote for a lot of people that you might know. You ever heard of The Temptations? Uh -oh. You know, these guys are, uh, these guys are big. And they didn't just write for the Temptations, you know, so do your research guys. We're we're giving you the keys right now We're not only doing music. We're not only promoting a show. We're trying to bring history back guys We're trying to bring that soul back. We're trying to bring that love back Comedy is back in a big way. I told you before the rhyme impersonator show <laughs> When your comedy is slow You know where to go Yeah, it's, uh, yeah I, I can just say the, the the process of studying these characters um, that was a process in itself, really watching the tapes over, watching the moves. There was a particular, if anybody caught it in that video, one of the, the, one of the G, um, um, McFadden brothers, one of the, the group duos, he would always sing in one spot. If you really look at it, he'd be doing his thing and he'd, he'd be actually mimicking the vocals of his co-partner singer, Mimic, just not speaking about And that's what I wanted to capture. I was like, we gotta capture that because it's hilarious. That he's not really speaking, but he's living the same lines of his partner. So Vaughn had to remember to do that during the recording. Check that little piece. It's so quick, but if you'll see it, you'll see him. 8,500 is our new funding goal. You see his lips just moving. <laughs> Hilarious, guys. And if you look at McFadden and Whitehead 
there, it, you'll see the same thing. So we tried to be as authentic to the characters as possible. That was very involved. That was something we had to always remember on, on set um, with, the, with the vocals and stuff. So. Of course, yeah. keeping in mind that, yes. So why don't you tell me what was um, your favorite part other than the being trapped in a little room with no air conditioner? Oh. My favorite part? Oh. When it was over. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was my favorite part. When it was over and I could go outside and it was cool and it started drizzling. Oh my gosh, the rain felt so good. Oh my gosh. Rain was great. Me and Vina <laughs> sat outside. Vina went to sleep for a little while, you know. Yeah, it was cool, it was cool. I'm sorry, V, I didn't want to tell, blow it up. You know, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, V, I didn't want to blow you up. But that was the best part. It started raining, you know, it was really cool. Yeah. It felt nice. It was like really subtle. Got home, fell asleep. You know? it was, yeah. That was the beautiful, the most beautiful part. And it was, uh, yeah, I, I would say rapping was the best part. Alex was so keen. He was oh just like, gosh. every, detail every he was so detailed was about man, this. I mean, he's on the camera moving with us. <laughs> like, it's like wait, 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 I'm wait, like, wait. what the hell? He's the, enjoying this. Dead. No, no, right he there, was right, really right, enjoying right, this. The shadow is there. No, the shadow is right there. <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't step in the shadow. Don't move, move from the shadow. Uh, yo, I got love for you, Al. Alex. <laughs> But that's a mark of a perfectionist. Dude. Um, but he was very keen on where he wanted to place us, where we wanted to stand. And I also have to, you know, thank um, Ari Alexandra, who came down, who was our background singer in the background. Can't forget her. Amazing. Um, she didn't have, you know, many speaking roles, but she was there to just put that old school swag into it. And I think, um, it, I think it made the video as well. So I want to thank you, Ari. Alexander, I think Vaughn wants to thank you too. Thank you, Ari. Why don't you tell me a little bit about, about what's next once the funds are in? What's next? What's next? What's next? You want me? I can get into that. Uh, um, so yeah. the, a little party too, right? Mm. Oh, mm. big party. Uh, I think that's first. It's actually yeah, gonna, the launch party is going to be huge, guys. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be held at Tulsi, five-star Michelin-rated restaurant. Located at 211 East 46th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. I'll say it again. Tulsi, 211 East 46th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. You do not want to miss it. Two celebrity chefs, Chef Dandaram, Chef Hamid, cooking up some amazing Indian cuisine for us. We're going to be showing the first skit of our, of our pilot, which is Tyrone the Central Park Beggar. You're going to get a little sneak preview of that. Plus, behind the scenes makeup, special effects makeup artist is going to be there. You're going to see that. There's going to be a sick after party at a hot spot. There's going to be a limousine that's going to arrive at 12 it's going to midnight. Really hot spot, you know Huge hot spot. We don't. We actually may sweat that day too as well. I know. I am actually in the limousine too. Uh, uh, uh. Let this be yeah, on camera. You're okay. I'm going to be uh, in the limo and I will up. see you, all of you guys, there. I need you to write the address down again, okay. just because you never know. Yes. Just to be and close to you, <laughs> girl. girl. I think that I'm coming. <laughs> I think we're going back uh -huh. to old school again. <laughs> yes. I think everybody wants to be in that limo. It's going to be an amazing night where we celebrate artistry. We're going to have all the cast and crew there, the makeup team, the people that you seldomly see behind the scene in a production. They're going to be there. You're going to get to meet. We're going to have a lot of uh, photographers are going to be there. So, guys, you're going to get some pro high-res shots for your Facebook. We talk about 1,000 likes. Mm, yeah. You literally get 1,000 likes. Wait. Bring, Please bring no kids. No kids allowed. Yeah. Don't bring this is too sexy MC. party. Too sexy. Please, all right? It's not MC. Hey guys. You don't bring kids to the premiere. Come on. It's going to be nuts. Complimentary drinks in the limo before you even get to the after party. Hi. Sick. 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 It's going to be an amazing time, you know, and we're very excited about it. We achieved uh, the first uh, Kickstarter campaign in 2012. We raised 5K for the production, got three skits rolling, and we're confident that we can raise this 8,500 to finish this pilot and get it out to the networks, to get out to Tyler Perry, my man, my yes. mentor, Oprah. Don't we're bringing, forget about yes, me. We ain't going to forget. Um, She's going to be there, too. I am. You know, you yes. Know. Yes. <laughs> And so we're really, uh, we're really, we're really excited about this launch. But it takes a team. It takes a team effort to really pull us together. Crowdfunding is not easy. It's a job. It's right. work. It's I don't you sleep. Learn. It takes a team to really put this together and yeah. bring this show to New York, the most expensive city in the world, to do a production. It's daring. It's been very challenging to get it to this point. But we know when it's finished, you guys are going to see an amazing pilot. It's going to be totally insane. Back in the back of the 70s. It's going to be out of sight. <laughs> out of sight. Out of sight. Your job time turkeys. Sure you're right. Y'all yo. <laughs> better be looking out. Stay tuned, your job time turkeys. <laughs>
And uh, there we have it. We lost Von Franklin. We lost him. That's it. He went back to the old school. He went back to the old school. They call me Slim. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Are you back? There we have it. Hey, hey, how you doing, guys? Uh, so I want to give one more shout out, T Bird, and our, uh, I want to give a shout out to T Rex, my man, my man, my man, fifty grand. Yeah, I want to give a shout out to CSC. You better start treating me better. No, I love you. I love you. I love you. And I want to give a shout out to all the people that have been have been viewing this video, like it. And I mean, I'm getting shots from Ukraine, London, Ooh. Canada. I mean, I'm seeing the stats, and it's amazing, guys. Thank you so much for watching London, this video. For showing your love. Share Perfect this shot. video. Ain't no stopping us now, baby. 8,500. We are coming to New York. We're going to bring the show Hong Kong. to New York. Suki, you heard? All my heads are Hong Kong, London. UK. Oh, yes, you, yes. UK. 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 Show me that love again, y'all. You heard? And I think it will hit viral status. It's unique. It's different. It is a sneak preview into what is yet to come for the Robin person. This is just an appetizer. The main course is coming. Get ready, America. Artemis, Lee Bell, Ebony. Let me give a shout out. You heard? <laughs> Hard body. You got a lot of damn shit. Dez, Purple Lady. I got that oh. All right, we're over. I'm just going to okay. go home but after this. I'm going to go home. Again, I am Mr. Mania here wrapping it up with executive producer Richard and Franklin. Thank you so much again for watching this. And I definitely hope to see you guys at the after party. I mean, who will miss the limo with the drinks and the chefs? and the comedy and all that stuff but anyways do not forget to pledge july 27th what is the uh, link again the link is kick www.kickstarter.com slash profile slash rhyme impersonator that's www.kickstarter.com slash profile slash rhyme impersonator do not forget twitter share facebook instagram anywhere LinkedIn. share it link 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 linkedin instagram linkedin y'all yeah LinkedIn. Don't play with Forget LinkedIn, man. It's for corporate, man. Don't play around with LinkedIn. Don't get on in LinkedIn like it's Facebook. <laughs> LinkedIn is important. Don't play around with that. And there you have it, folks. What are your last words? My last word, I want to give a shout-out to the green team. Y'all know who y'all are. Darius, Dominique, Kwani, all y'all, man. D-Mac, Purple Lady. Again, hi. How you doing, baby? Nikki, you're <laughs> sincere. Black. Tag. Purple lady. That's Purple a big... Sister. Okay, that's my bad. That's, that's my sister. That's nicknames. You heard? You heard? Well, I want to give a shout-out to my mom. My father, um, you know, uh, law school wasn't a good thing, Dad. As you see, I chose old school dancing. <laughs> I want to thank my family for really sticking by me through the last campaign. I'm really, hopefully, they will stick by me on this one. Um, and that's definitely, I want to definitely give a shout out for that. Anybody you want to thank, Mom? That's it, Mom. I, I love you, Mommy. I love you. I, I want to give a shout out to my auntie, Aunt Berta. This, this is an award speech. My Aunt Berta for raising me. Well, Mom, thank you. I know what I'm talking about. Here I am with Say Diggs. Why don't you tell me a little bit about what you thought was on the spoof? The spoof was amazing. Y'all got to check that out. We had, what, 9,000, I believe? Everybody's going to see it. It's around the world. We got people in Hong Kong. We got China. We got Hawaii. We got everybody. London. <laughs> London. <laughs> UK. Nah, it's real big, though, seriously. And everybody should check it out. Ain't no stopping us, 5K. We did it. Now we back again. We had it for the double win. All right, that's great. So why don't you tell me a little bit about your last skit, Amanda? My last skit was Amanda, comedy genius. Oh, man, I can't. I'm eager to get back on set just so for that. I think everyone is going to accept it. It's going to be real big, and I think it's going to not top the ain't no stopping us, but it's going to be embraced very well, and people are going to love the pilot. Like... You gotta look out for that. Amanda, I'm in there. <laughs> That's great. So um, what are your thoughts also on the, the future skits? Well, the future skits, I, I, I can't say too much about it. You know, we tight-lipped about it, but- Of um, course, of course, of course. It's gonna be a celebrity skit. That's all I, I can say right now, but um, I'm a part of it. You can look out for me, I'm there. You know, as well as my castmates, and it's gonna be funny. Yeah, that's great. So. Am I going to see you at the party? Oh, uh, the question is, am I going to see you there? Uh, I yeah, I there. am VIP, first one in the limousine. Yeah. VIP. I got a drink for you. All right, we, we said this. We are ready. All we're waiting is for you. We need That's all we're waiting for. Support us. For you. For you. Support us. Well, thank you so much, Zay, for everything. And this is the wrap-up. So, any last words? 
Any last words? I'd like to give a shout out to my family. Y'all know who y'all are, family over everything. And um, we here. Support us. July 27th, come out. We're going to do it big. We need y'all to pledge. And shout out to the lovely you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, here I am. Thank you. There you have it, guys. Please do not forget to pledge. These are your favorite comedians. You will later on, you will remember this. And we will thank you forever. I will sweat we'll for give you too. a shirt full of sweat mm. if we reach this goal. We will, me and Vaughn will take, not now. You got to pledge first. Okay. If you pledge for us, if we reach this goal, this. me and Vaughn, we're going to make this right now. We will take off our shirts and send our shirts to you. That's right, sweeties. We're going to send you our shirts, honey. If you come out, we're going to send you our shirts. Okay. There you have it. We will have that later on in an auction. Do not forget that. <laughs> Right now, don't forget it, July 27th, all right? Sweaty shirt, sweaty shirt, going for 2000 Sweat, Sold. For 10000 <laughs> There we have it, guys. That is a wrap. Hi, I am Mr. Mania. He is a special guest host here with the Rhyme Impersonator Show. I am about to interview the special... Uh, hi, I am Mr. Mania here as a special guest host with the impersonated... The rhyme, the rhyme ex impersonator show. <laughs> no, sorry, no one gets it right. Mr. Mania as a special guest host at the Franklin oh. Mania here as a special host, especially with. Executive oh, producer of the rhyme. Uh -uh. Hi, I am Mr. Mania as a special guest host at the rhyme. For the rhyme impersonator. Ain't no stopping us now. We need to know. Joe De Niro, I'm Benjamin, so I'm calling paper. Ain't no stopping us now. We must get to go. Finish our pilot. We can't do it without you. 8,500 is our new funding goal. And we've got some great rewards that will enrich your soul. In this economy, there's nowhere else to go. I thank God for Kickstarter. Me too, bro. Our cast and crew, we plan to stay on track. July 27th, we we'll hope you have our back, yeah. It's all or nothing, that's the policy. And we only got just one month, and that's why we're making this plea, yeah. We won't let nothing, nothing stand in the way, yeah. We want you to listen, listen. Make a pledge today, make a pledge today, yo. Ain't no stopping us now. We need to know. Control the narrow. I'm Benjamin, so I'm calling paper. Ain't no stopping us now. We must get to go. Finish our pilot. We can't do it without you. Ain't no stopping us now. We need to know. Control the narrow. I'm Benjamin, so I'm calling paper. Ain't no stopping us now. We must get to go. Finish our pilot. We can't do it without you. Ain't no stopping us now.